Hi, this is Michael William Denny, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the chakras. Now, I want to ask you something. Have you heard this before? Because I've heard it a lot, which is that the reptilian conspiracy has implanted within human beings these things we call chakras. And they use these chakras to possess you, to manipulate you, to control you. Therefore, they say, at all costs, you should not open your chakras, you should not meditate on them, because if you do so, demons will jump inside of your body, will possess you, and destroy your soul. Have you heard this? So once again, let me dispel this lie from the reptilian conspiracy. The reptilian conspiracy wants to keep you from achieving your own self-empowerment. It wants to prevent you from achieving your divine human identity. It wants to prevent you from becoming divine on earth. That is your destiny. If you choose, you can have this. You can have it now. So, um, let's talk again. What is the fourfold agenda of the reptilians? Number one, to prevent you from awakening your human identity. Number two, to keep you from being able to protect yourself physically, spiritually, emotionally, uh, and, and even from disease. Third is they want to keep you trapped in your fear center of your brain, the reptilian brain stem. There's a reason we call it that. The base of your brain, the amygdala, where you operate from fear, from uh, hatred, from uh, judgment, and from limitation. They want to keep you trapped there. And the fourth part of the agenda is to keep you from uh, achieving your divine identity, having yourself become completely awakened, where your third eye opens and you can see and perceive all of the dimensions and all of the beings that live in all the dimensions, and to keep you from opening up your crown chakra, which connects you to the highest heavens and allows you to become divine on earth. This is the fourfold agenda. The great thing is, is that if you turn it around, there is a four-step process to become completely enlightened, and that is to in, uh, awaken your divine identity, to empower your aura so that you protect your identity and your physical body, to uh, rise above the reptilian brainstem and operate from fearlessness and from compassion and from open-mindedness, and finally to open up your third eye and your crown chakra, which will then make you divine. You'll be untouchable. That's the idea. So let's talk about the chakras. So we've already, I've already told you the chakras are not some implanted uh, alien device to control you. No. The chakras are part of what we were talking about in the previous video, which is your kundalini, your divine identity. So without getting into it too deeply, you have your eternal soul. Your eternal soul lives forever. It is not... Uh, whether your body lives or dies, your soul is intact, it lives forever. Your kundalini, on the other hand, is not your soul, it is your human divine identity. Now, there's always two uh, kinds of vibrations. There's a higher and a lower vibration of everything. And that includes your humanity. If you operate from your lower vibrational energy, which means you're, you're stuck in your reptilian brainstem, the least evolved part of you, that is where you operate from the reptilian mind, and you can and they, they are able to manipulate you through the reptilian hive mind. That's how they do it, by tapping into the amygdala. That's how they connect to you, that's how they control you. And so by overcoming that, by operating from these other centers, from the third eye, from the pituitary, the pineal gland, and opening up all of the chakras, then you are able to control them. This is what they're not being, you're not being told, is that if you become divinely empowered, guess what? You're able to control the reptilians. You can make them do what they're supposed to do, which is to work for you as a divine being on earth. So, the chakras. The chakras, uh, there's so much misunderstanding about them. Um, I'm sure you're aware of them. There's uh, seven main chakras. There's the root chakra. There's the, uh, the sacral chakra, the sexual center. There is the navel chakra. There's the heart chakra, the throat, the third eye, and then the crown. Now, how do these open? A lot of people think if you meditate on them, if I meditate on my heart chakra, no. 
that's not going to open your heart. You might get a sensation there. It might connect you to some kind of aspects of the heart chakra, but it's not going to open them. The chakras have what are called grantis, which are knots. And these knots are there to prevent you from opening your chakras. Because why? Because the, the universe wants you to work towards your enlightenment. You have to make choices that take you out of the reptilian brainstem. And those choices involve, as I said, living fearlessly, living from compassion, living from generosity, living from an open and curious mind. Those actions connected to that will open up the chakra, the uh, chakras, the kundalini begins to rise up the spinal column. And as the kundalini, which is your divine human identity, not your spiritual identity, but your human identity, when your kundalini rises and it opens up a chakra, it opens up that realm of existence. So that, uh, you know, there are seven main dimensions that we can live on, and it opens that up. So for instance, the, the root chakra has to do with security. So if you're operating from fear, you need money all the time, you need stuff, you need houses, you need food, you overeat, you indulge, you're stuck in your root chakra, the negative vibration of your root chakra. In the sexual center, if you are operating from the negative part of your sexual center, then of course you're obsessed with sex, but more so than that, you're obsessed with your, uh, how you look, how you look to other people, too much makeup, too much fancy clothes, because you're, you want to look good. The positive side of it is that you become self-empowered and you become creative. That's the higher vibration of the sexual chakra. So I'll go into each of the chakras and how there's a higher and lower vibration, but the bottom line is this. If you want to open the chakras, you have to take actions. So let's go back to the root chakra. Let's say that you want to overcome your fear of limitation, your fear of poverty, your fear of starvation, uh, your fear of uh, you know not having a place to live. Uh, not having a car, not having a job, these are all fears that are based in the root chakra. The way to start overcoming that is by doing the opposite, is by living fearlessly, by trusting that the universe will take care of all of your needs, and that if you venture out and you take risks in your life, this empowers the root chakra and the kundalini then rises and the kundalini your divine human identity is a power very strong power and when it hits that and it opens up the root chakra guess what you become a master of taking care of your physical needs you you're with your kundalini rising and, and uh, opening up the root chakra and operating from the higher levels the higher vibration of your root chakra you can intend whatever you want if you want a nice place to live, if you want uh, a decent amount of income, if you want to feel secure, if you want to be healthy, uh, the root chakra is connected to the brain, you start thinking differently. These are just some basic ways that you can do that. So, listen, um, I'm going to go through more uh, videos about all this stuff, but I need your help. I need you to subscribe, I need you to like, I need you to comment. If you want to see me continue to do these videos, what you can do to help is you can uh, contribute to the channel. You can, of course, buy my books, my DVDs. Um, you can follow this link below because this link below is going to give you the first step in a four-fold, a four-step process to allow you to become a God on earth, allow you to become divinely empowered. So go ahead and go to that uh, website there and get started with the first video. Listen. So. Listen, that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned. There's a lot more videos to come.